It was me and my Kia, a, a great reformer from Denmark, Nasser, and they called the police on us, and we are left hanging. I mean, you are the son of immigrants from Cuba, and you understand the revolution. We are in a war right now with this extremist interpretation of Islam, and we so, can't we can't just sit in terms of metaphors and talk about cancer and poison. This is something that we have to really call out and tackle. So, Oscar, how do you do it? And give me a, give me a, you know synthesize these points that you uh, wanted to share with everyone, and for that you got the police called on you. Tell me, synthesize those points, and what are the most important issues we need to know? Yeah, absolutely. So we are standing up for ideas of secular governance. This is so critical because from the Islamic State to the Muslim Brotherhood to the organizations with which Tashfin Malik was affiliated, they want political governance. And we have to stand up for secular governance. And then secondly, we stand up for human rights, women's rights, gay rights, the right of somebody to be an atheist. These are crimes inside of Muslim communities, and we have to say no, no longer. And finally, we stand up for peace. We have to stand up against nonviolent extremism and violent extremism. But, but, but Asher, how do you do that in places? I mean, look, you, you, know, you talk about secular governance in, in, in um, Muslim countries, and, and look what happened to Egypt. Right? Look what happened even in, in, in Turkey today. Uh, look what's happened in places that have attempted to have some form of secular governance within a Muslim country. I'm thinking that other than, than Morocco, where that's been somewhat stable and has been able to fight against the extremists, it's not been very successful. No, it's a tragedy what we're seeing, and we are seriously in a war for the future of our global civilization right now, and what we need is people to stand up with moral courage. You know, there was a time when we didn't think it was possible that we could end apartheid in South Africa, when we didn't think that we could end slavery in the South in the United States, but I just want people to have hope, and I want them to persevere and support liberal reformers around the globe, including in America. When I left to meet the press and um, went on Facebook, I saw civil rights activists from inside of our Muslim community trash talking me, one of them even saying that she just wanted to punch into the screen every time she heard me speak. We need to stand up for civil discourse and we really need Americans and liberal Americans on our side on this. That who is quiet gives permission to others to yes. say things. You should never, Beautiful. no one should ever be quiet. Azra Namani, thank you for being with me. I'm going to ask you to come back because uh, mm -hmm. this conversation needs to continue. And I appreciate your valor and being with us. Thank, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so After the much. president's remarks on terror in the Oval Office, some of the men and women who want to be the next president weighed in. Coming up.